What's up, you freaking genius dudes? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the vertex, x-intercepts, y-intercepts, and axis of symmetry of a quadratic function, all right? So we're gonna start with this example right here. f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus nine, all right? So to make sure we understand the parts of this function, let's write the standard form of a quadratic equation. So that's f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are just coefficients, right? So then here you can see that a, b, and c would be those three coefficients right there. So that's kind of the first part, just kind of labeling your three coefficients. The next part is gonna be finding the vertex, specifically the x-coordinate. So the way that we can do that is by using this formula right here. So the x-coordinate of your vertex is going to be equal to negative b over 2a. All right, so then here, this is all gonna be equal to negative b, b in this case is gonna be positive 12, and that's over two times a, and a is three. All right, so this is gonna be equal to negative 12 over six, which is equal to negative two. All right, so for our vertex, let's just write it over here. We're looking for our x and y coordinate, right? So we just found the x coordinate right now. So it's equal to negative two. All right, great. So now let's find the y coordinate of the vertex. And the way you do that is simply by plugging in your x coordinate, the x coordinate that we just found, back into the function right here for x, okay? So then here we're gonna say that f of x, or more specifically, we can say y, is equal to three times x squared. But again, we're gonna plug in negative two for x, right? So here we're gonna get negative two squared plus 12 times x, so 12 times negative two, and then plus nine, all right? So here this is gonna be equal to, let's see, negative two squared is equal to positive four, and positive four times three is equal to 12. And then here 12 times negative two is negative 24, so minus 24 plus nine. All right, now 12 minus 24 is negative 12, and negative 12 plus nine is negative three. All right, so now we found the y-coordinate for the vertex, which is negative three. Now, the next thing that we can easily find is the axis of symmetry, all right? So let's just write this right here, the axis of symmetry. Now, remember the axis of symmetry is just the vertical line that basically splits a parabola in half. And let's draw that maybe a little bit more cleanly. Let's just say something like that, okay? So this line, this axis of symmetry, always runs through the vertex of the parabola, okay? So the axis of symmetry will always be your x-coordinate of your vertex. So here our x-coordinate is negative two, right? So we're gonna say that the axis of symmetry is at x is equal to negative two, all right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So the last thing that we wanna find are the x and y intercepts. Now, one little rule that might help you remember how to find each one is if you want to find the x intercepts, you have to set y equal to zero. And if you wanna find the y intercepts, you set x equal to zero. Okay, they're kind of like opposite pairs. So let's start by finding the x-intercepts. So to do that, again, we just wanna set y equal to zero. Or to be a little more specific again, f of x is equal to zero, right? y and f of x, they basically mean the same thing. So here we're gonna plug in a zero for f of x. So here we're gonna have zero is equal to three x squared plus 12 x plus nine. All right, so here we're going to have to factor this in order to solve for x. But one little convenient thing that we can do really quick is, as you can see, all these three numbers are divisible by three. So one thing that's gonna help us is let's divide this whole side by three, and what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So let's divide this whole side by three, okay? So here, zero divided by three is just zero. So this is gonna be equal to, well, first of all, three divided by three is equal to one. So we're gonna have one x squared here, or simply x squared. And then here we have 12 divided by three, which is four, so we're gonna have plus, 4x, and then nine divided by three is three, so plus three. Okay, so now these numbers are smaller, right? So they'll be easier to work with and to factor. 
So now we're gonna say that zero is equal to, and then factoring this guy right here. Let's see, we have an x squared, so we can split that up into x times x. And then here we need two numbers that multiply to three, but add up to positive four. So in this case, that would be a positive one and a positive three, right? Because one times three is equal to three, and one plus three is equal to four. Great. Now, one last piece of advice I want to give you here is if your trinomial is not factorable, then in order to find your factors, you would have to use the quadratic formula, which if you don't remember, that's x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so now that we factored it, the last thing we have to do is set each of our factors or parentheses equal to zero. So the first one is going to be x plus one is equal to zero, and then we're gonna have x plus three is equal to zero. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to give ourselves some room. So first of all, solving for this one, uh, we can get rid of this one by subtracting one on both sides, those cancel out. So here we get that x is equal to negative one. And then on this side, same thing, we can get rid of this three by subtracting three. So here we get that x is equal to negative three. All right, so here, as you can see, we got two solutions, right? Or in other words, two x-intercepts. Okay, so let's write that off to the side over here. So our x-intercepts are at x is equal to negative one and negative three. All right, lastly, let's find the y-intercepts. And this one will actually be much easier. So now, if we want to find the y-intercepts, we just have to set x equal to zero. Or in other words, we're gonna plug in a zero for all of our x terms in our function, all right? So in this case, we're going to get f of x is equal to all this, or again, we could say just y to make it a little bit more clear. So we can say y is equal to three times x squared, but again, we're gonna plug in a zero, right? So we're gonna get zero squared plus 12 times zero plus nine. So here we get that y is equal to zero squared is just zero and zero times three is just zero. And then here 12 times zero is zero and then just nine, all right? So then here you can see that y is simply equal to nine. So our y-intercept, uh, let's write it like that, is at y is equal to nine. All right, lastly, let's just draw a quick sketch of this graph. All right, now the first thing we want to graph is the vertex. So again, that's at negative two, negative three. So let's just say negative two, negative one, two, three. So let's say that's about right here, all right? Now, the next thing we can graph is the axis of symmetry, if you want. So again, it runs through x is equal to negative two. So this is our x-axis and this is negative two. So it should just run straight down like that through the vertex, all right. Now let's graph the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So the x are at negative one, negative three. So we have one right here at negative one. And then we also need one right here at negative three. All right, and then the y-intercept, we only have one and it's at positive nine, right? So then we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll say it's about there. And now we can draw this half of the parabola. So something like that. And we'll also draw this other half, just like that, boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.